It's a blustery day here at Moonshine Arch in the sandstone hills of northeastern Utah. I don't think anybody knows how many we have. We have a database of thousands, but I think there are more yet to be discovered. With support from the National Science Foundation, geologist Jeff Moore and a team from the University of Utah are pioneering a new method to monitor the structural integrity of these spectacular geological landmarks. We take continuous seismic measurements and we process those just for the vibration properties of the arch. They set up two seismometers, one on the arch itself to measure how it naturally bends, sags, and sways in response to wind and weather. They also position what they call a reference instrument nearby. We're looking there for what you might think of as a clean background spectra. Uh, what's going on in the rock anyway here? And then we can compare against what we record on the arch to see what's really unique about the arch. They also take photographs, often with a drone, to make a 3D model of the arch. With our data, we only have one data point, maybe two, on top of an arch wherever we're able to place a piece of equipment. So that gives us one point how the motion is happening there. But with the model, we can then expand to every point on the arch and see how motion is happening. They've found each arch naturally vibrates with its own resonant frequency, much like a guitar string. Right now, as the wind blows that arch, it's, it's, you can think exactly like that wind is plucking the guitar string, and the arch will be vibrating back and forth. The frequencies are too low for the ear to detect. But speed them up, and it turns out each arch has its own unique voice. Moore even created a website dedicated to just this. Yeah, some of them have a beautiful set of tones that come together to form a really nice rumble. It, it really resonates with some people, me included. The team travels to arches across the state, setting up instruments and letting them run overnight to gather baseline data. Once we establish a new site like we're doing today, we just come back for a really short checkup where we'll make an hour long measurement do a quick processing and see, you know, have the frequencies changed from when we measured before. Their method is called structural health monitoring. It's an up and coming way for land managers, like park rangers, to assess what's going on with an arch that may be failing. Say, for example, that a chunk falls off the bottom of an arch one day. Then the question will come up, is the arch collapsing? Is it safe to allow people to use that trail, for example? Or shall we change everything? Shall we restrict people? What shall we do? Now, we haven't come upon that scenario. But again, we, what we're providing is the possibility for data to aid that scenario to address those difficult questions. Scaling the heights to keep a watchful eye and ear on the structural health of these national treasures.